the past day, the past his window. And that's why he, why he invented the Balkan Declaration. Let them, let them go to Palestine. I don't want to see them because we come back to what, what, the, what the real answer it is, but he, he didn't want to see them and therefore he, had, therefore he started all the difficulties we see now. Because without the Balkan Declaration, probably after the war, there would never have been, never have been in, in Israel. So, now we go back to, to anti-Semitism all over Europe, also in France. Theodore Herzl, the, the, the so-called founder, founder of, of, um, of Zionism, was a fully assimilated, enlightened Viennese Jew. He was a journalist and he stayed in Paris to report on the notorious Dreyfus affair. So nobody you know what that was. Due to the emancipation, uh, Colonel Dreyfus, a, a French Jew, was a member of the French uh, uh, general staff, and due to brutally forged papers, he was accused of being a spy for the Prussians or the Germans or both, whatever. And uh, uh, Hassel, coming back to him, was rightly appalled that this was possible out of all countries in France, because France, through Napoleon, had started with the emancipation of the Jews in, 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 uh, in, in Europe, and that there, out of all places, such a hysteria, because it was a real hysteria, and, and maybe some of you know that only through the inter intervention of a chap like, uh, with enormous prestige, like uh, Emile Zola, who wrote the, fact of, uh, the famous article, I accuse, uh, this eventually, uh, Dreyfus was, was um, rehabilitated. So, that is the thing, and now, you will see, I put it into a scheme, the main elements of Zionism. First of all, we have the uh, first two rows, the historical uh, surrounding, we had the Enlightenment, which brought forth the French Revolution, and that led to Napoleon. And Napoleon did two things. He occupied large parts of Europe, bringing there, I mean, which, which on the one hand, as we will see just a second from now, uh, nationalism everywhere, but also it, uh, he, he introduced the emancipation of Jews everywhere, or tried to. And that led to, to fear of economic threat for them. Uh, fear of economic threat for all those who so far were uh, 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 were free of competition from the Jews because they were allowed only very very few in, 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 in Christian in Christian Europe they were only allowed to to, uh, to deal in money and to go around with, with textiles along the door. That was about the only professions they were allowed to have. But due to Napoleon's emancipation uh, efforts, they could do, could become nearly everything. And uh, the, um, so the nationalism uh, was the first element of, of um, which came into Zionism. And the virulent anti-Semitism gave birth to a completely, in hindsight at least, a completely crazy idea of Mr. Hatcher. Mr. Hatcher did not think about the theological arguments of thousand years of anti-Judaism by the Christian Church, which was very anti-Jewish because the Jews refused to consider Jesus as the, the Messiah and uh, as is the, the direct son of God and so that was the, that was in that time um, the main reason so before Herzl was the main reason for anti-Judaism and Herzl did not think about this but he thought he had the crazy thought that and it existed only to the fact that Jews had no country of their own. 
every nationalism went into his head. He said, we all have that. Our, our nationalists, we have France, we have French, and we have Germany for the Germans, and, 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 and uh, Great Britain for the British. So, if we have, the, and, and they are all not hated, they are normal nations, and so if we have, if we have a nation for the Jews, then everything will be okay. And I'll, I, I, I mean, I'm born uh, more than 100 years, I think, after, after Herzl. No, oh, I don't know, but then I guess, I, I know from, from my experience from, from, from after the Second World War that the existence of a nation, a very strong nation, like China, never prevented a single pogrom in Indonesia against Chinese traders, which they hated, because trade in Indonesia was very highly in hands of, of, of Chinese traders. Okay, um, I think we can go Then a, a strange thing occurred, uh, and um, I, 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 I think it's very, very strange, very important, but it, it goes maybe a bit far. New sciences were invented, and we put, or invented in any case, were, 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 yeah, were discovered and, and, and were, they were actively a exercised, and it was philology. And the philology uh, discovered that most European languages, with a few exceptions, had, and Gaelic is one of them, and English too, and French too, and, and the Slavic languages, all these have a common origin that is the Indo-Iranian or the Aryan languages, as, as contrasted to the Semitic languages, which, is, which are completely different in structure and have nothing to do in their structure, in, in their uh, whole nature, with the uh, Aryan languages. And the biology uh, discovered human races, and human races were studied in great detail, especially the craniums of people were measured up uh, width and length and, 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 and part of the, the, how, how the protruding back, how far that went, etc. And then the biologists make a terrible mistake. They, they connected different craniums with different characters and different, uh, different intelligence and what have you. And uh, the, the uh, philologists make an extremely uh, serious mistake to think that, uh, that a common early language like uh, Sanskrit or, or Iranian, which were very near to each other, uh, were only possible if there had been a, 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 an early Aryan race. Well, the best example is here, we, I mean, you are Irish and, and, and you may have come from, from Scotland or whatever, or you may have speak Germanic blood, and, and especially in Great Britain, it's very obvious. They all talk English, but they have very, very varied eth ethnic background or, and, and, and racial background. So it th was a terrible, terrible uh, mistake. But in this way, the the Aryan myth came into existence, and the great difference, and, and the, the the human races, the the, the, the mal interpretation of human races led to the myth that. Inferior, that there were inferior and superior races, and that in its turn supported, gave moral support to colonialism. Because colonialism existed at least since, I think, since the, the 15th or 16th century. But now they had an underpinning because all these, all these people, dark skinned people, were, were, were inferior. And so, and, but this but it's also went very, very prominently into Zionism, this whole, uh, this whole idea. And then we come to the final, final blow to any uh, acceptable basis of Zionism, and that is the Holocaust and, the, uh, and, and from there the Holocaust religion. So now we come